Yeah, I know no one's even watching, I don't really care. Okay, um, right, so if you didn't, I'll probably repeat what I said, but my <laughs> microphone was muted. Um, I'm just going to do a little demo review of uh, when we played against Stan's team on Gullywash uh, with Deserto. Um, we actually managed to draw against them, and, um, you know, I think it wasn't a brilliant game for either side, but uh, we definitely played alright at some points, but there's probably a lot of things that went wrong, which I can talk about. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into this. Um, let's go. Turn the volume down just a tad. Forgive me if I'm a little bit slow at things today. I am quite tired. It's quite early. Okay, I'm gonna pause off to the mid. So look, I'm going underneath. Oh dear. Oh, run away. Alright, let's pause there. Alright, so um, on Gullywash we have a tactic where we um, we send both soldiers bombing over the top and we have a scout up there kind of just chilling, which usually drops underneath rivers. And me and my demo man and the scout, we go underneath on the right hand side and the plan is to catch them when they're in valley. Um, I think the reason why that failed was um, we weren't very quick. So they kind of saw us in valley and could take a better position on us and as soon as we tried to go underneath they all basically just focused by the little corridor thing we were going into so we all just got destroyed there. Um, really, it, it's quite a, um, it's quite like an all-in tactic so if it fails I'm pretty much going to die 100% so not a good start, not a good start. Um, I'm pretty sure we didn't kill anyone. Well, we only killed a few people, and I'm pretty sure the meds still survived. So, we're gonna have fun having zero Uber against a full Uber. And, yeah, there we go. Just losing loads of players. We're not gonna do anything on second, so we go for a last hold. Uh, heavy, because we've got full Uber disadvantage. I mean, there's not really more, there's not really a point building at this point. Um, we have a sniper and he managed to pick a scout, so I'm pretty sure that is. Might be a soldier, who knows. Yeah, I'm just going to buff people really, because I'm not really confident that we're going to get Uber in time. We lose a sniper. What is that HUD? Um, the HUD I'm using is... Um, no, it's PV HUD. Uh, Delhi HUD, sorry. <coughs> Alright, so they're about to Uber in. Um, Really, I'm just trying to buff people here, as we're not going to get even time. Scout goes on the point. I decide to drop onto the point, assuming as it's probably the safest place to be if they're coming in. And we've nearly got Uber in time because they've not pushed with their with theirs, so we decide to push out a bit. Um, probably not the best idea because they are kind of in lobby and they could easily just wrap around us here. But um, sometimes in the team we have people just want to make a call to go aggressive for no reason. Who knows? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, we did get a soldier pick, I guess, so, you know, why not? Let's try it. So we're going to go up top here. With three people. Um, scarily, we can't actually find them. And we ha I have to pop uh, to save our demo man from the scout. And they are just standing in choke, so... Uh, I think we're just going to jump on them here and probably force them, but I, I predict that we're probably all going to die in a few seconds. There we go. So I'm going to try to run away. Oh, and there's a soldier there. Okay. So um, that was not a good call at all to do. Um, sometimes that happens in a team, like uh, because we haven't really come into our own yet with um, the calls. They're quite cluttered sometimes, so someone in the team probably made a call. Yeah, 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 push, push. And we did. And we didn't know where they were. And then we found out where they were. I mean, we could have expected them to either be in big doors or quite passive because they just lost a couple of players and they were expecting us to push. So um, they had superior positioning. We just, we, we popped people way too early on a scout. 
who knows, maybe you could have killed a scout. Who, I don't know. I didn't really want to take a chance, because if you lose demo on a push like this, it's not going to go particularly well. So this is going to be a cat for them, as it's only just either a man up. Unless something ridiculous happens. We're about to get spawners in four seconds, so he's doing a good job holding them. Where's the soldier on the point? And yeah, the round's capped. <coughs> so, summarize that, really, um, we lost because we pushed out and we did a bad push with a bad uber and just no, uh, just, just a bad play really. We should have just stayed and waited and played the waiting game, but we were impatient. We wanted to uh, get in their face. Which, you know, is it's an alright play to play, but it's you gotta do it smart, you can't just be aggressive all the time, so the next middle. And um I think I made the same call. We call our tactic balls deep. So that would be us rushing over the, doing the same thing. I'm pretty sure we do the same thing this mid, so um I'm not sure if this is probably the correct thing to do, but fuck it we're gonna do it anyway. You know, buffing the soldiers. See, in this tactic, it's important for us to get the soldiers completely well, very healthy when we're jumping. So, here we go. Going underneath again. We've got a soldier going to drop down. Immediately, we lose one of our soldiers. We managed to pick a soldier. Or, s yeah. We managed to lose a soldier. We've got a soldier hanging around and drop down. Here he wants to go up. And the down man. Okay. So, I'll let, I'll let him play on a little bit. But, from, one, from what I can see there, um, Really, we should have probably have lost this mid a lot sooner. Um, GF18 is just killing people. I mean, that's quite lucky that we managed to get three picks there, but really, um, we shouldn't have gone up the right hand sides. I think it was uh, the problem with this match was Huey um, like just come back from a night out, so I don't think he was playing at his full capacity. So um, silly, because usually on Gully Wash, like he's the one making like little play calls like that when he sees things. So um, not usually the not probably not probably a good idea letting him do calls like that at, when he's in that state, but um, yeah, we really shouldn't have gone up there. We should have backed out as soon as we lost those players, but we stayed in for way too long. Um, GF18, one of our scouts, managed to get like a couple of good picks, but that's you can't really rely on that. That's pretty lucky. So again, I'm dead, but I'm pretty sure their med died as well. So I'm spawning crits because that's what you do when the med dies, and you're a medic like me, you go crits. And we know that they've all died, so we're gonna maybe go f try repush at some point very soon with the crits because it builds so much quicker, obviously, than the Uber charge. Um, so we've got a sniper big door, and I think what happens here is they just yeah, uh, I remember it now. Um, we were holding choke here, and we didn't really have a good present, like really good protection on our flank with the sniper. I think we should probably have left maybe just a soldier here, and had a demo man at big doors just to be have a bit more presence because they just push unubered through big doors and get like free picks here. So yeah there we go. So the call is made of the pushing big door. We see him. And we have to kind of get back. We're kind of been pincered here. This isn't going very well. I don't think I managed to get out. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> okay. So yeah, um I die because of uh, our flank being decimated by the Finnish powerhouses of uh, Dan's new team. So again we're holding last and I'm going to spawn normal. Or am I? Okay, that's interesting. I think the med died again, if I can remember. Sorry if I forget things, I uh, have a terrible memory. I wish it was an STV so I could actually see. Never mind. Um, so we're back to building the crits and I think we want to make a play with the crits as soon as we get it. And again I think this is another case of us um, pushing out when we really... I don't really agree with myself going crits here. I definitely would have gone uber if I would played it again. Because we go out and we crits on them and I think... Yeah, let's just speed up a bit. Yeah, we're just building the fucking crits. We get a pick. They're quite close. We lose our sniper. Okay, we've got crits now. 
So me and Huey go out with the crits. I crits early. Oh, and we kill the medic, okay. Alright, that's a different situation I was thinking of. But they're going behind us now. That wasn't actually... That was pretty good. The med didn't have either. We managed to kill him early. But now we've lost two people. Oh, God. Um, they're very aggressive on us. We've lost... We've lost ugh, we just lost that demo, man. But they have no medic. So really, I've just got to keep these soldiers healthy. And we'll probably be able to defend last pretty easily. And again, we've got a huge crits advantage. So we've got the opportunity to push out again. As soon as he respawns, when I get to like 85, we'll start moving. So they're thinking about it. The finishness bit inside them is calling them to push, but... Nope. So we're going to start moving now, because we've got crits. So we're checking on the entrances. And we're moving out. Lobby is pretty risky. But whatever, here he wanted to go lobby, so I'm just going to follow him. And as soon as he says to use it, I use it. And I don't think we kill anyone with this. Oh, we killed a down man. Nice little surf onto the health pack there. We kill a demo man and we kill a soldier. And at this point, the medic's not going to have Uber just yet, but we really need to get pressure on the chokes to cap this point. I'm, I'm calling... At this point, I'm calling that the medic will have Uber very, very soon. And um, as we've only got crits, I'm pretty much uh, helpless if they push him with an Uber. So we need to position ourselves accordingly as soon as we cap this. We pretty much have to... Um, we need to be backing off. Okay, so the viewer behind us here, and we're backing off. I wish the rest of my players would. There we go. So that was a really bad Uber from them. They only killed one soldier, and now we've got 70% crits. So all we have to do really is... Ah, uh, yeah, we, I think someone's trying to call, like, block the point, but there's so many stickies on that door. We're not going to do it, so they're going to cap this point. We lose the scout. But now we've got 90% crits, so I think he wants to stay quite close. I think uh, they, they know we've got crits, so them and Nick's probably calling right now, oh, um, they've got crits, we should hold really passive, so obviously with crits you have to push, you cannot really, I mean, you could possibly try and defend last, like, and play really passive, uber them early, and then, like, try dodge and then just get the crits while they're uber phase and crits it on, like, a heavy or something, that could work. It has worked, in fact, on Gullywash, but... Really, you want to be pushing with crits as soon as possible to try to get a med drop, really. But if a medic's smart, then don't know where to stand, don't know what to expect it, so it's very rare that you'll see a med drop unless you come behind them. So here, we can't see them, and this is a really bad sign. When you push out like this and there's nobody around, it's probably going to be a back cap. So we see them go for a back cap, they were holding big doors. A crits, and I think we actually managed to kill the medic. Yeah, we do, we kill the medic just before he gets Uber, and we kill a soldier. I get a stab on the... oh yeah, I remember this. Huey can hit the pipes and I tried to kill the scout and I miss everything. Because it's a scout. Ugh. Yeah, annoying. Never mind. Probably should have just ran away and let Huey die. <laughs> but the mech's down again. And they're just chilling around on second. Now it's just meant to be there. For some reason I don't know behind them. I can't tell you for life of me what Huey was expecting. Whatever, he's hitting pipes. Look at that, two pipes there. Um, he seems to play better when he's a little bit drunk, so whatever, I'll let him off. So we get loads of picks now, and they haven't kept recap sec they haven't recapped second at all, so we're in a pretty good position. Both, really, we've got equal ubers now, so we want to be putting a lot of pressure on him. I'm call <coughs> excuse me. calling to my team to go quite aggressive here. We've got a couple of picks too. Uh, they're going to have spawners now, and they're getting a lot of pressure, as pressure on us on their... Uh, choke here, so we're just going to hold choke and hopefully build the Uber. I'm calling right now to my flank for them to come get buffs, and we need Huey really at the uh, the choke, and uh, I'm not really sure why. There we go, he's just spawned. They're coming in for free, which we need to spam right now. Okay, our flank's just got raped by a soldier. Uh, we need to get back now. We took, unless we're going to go block, oh wow, they're close. Okay, we Uber in. I choose, like right there, I chose to let a scout die because I think I just didn't see him. That was probably poor play on me. I should have probably flashed him. Scouts are important, especially when you're trying to defend a cap. Whatever, we exchanged Uvers and we didn't lose too many people. So we're going to go back. However, at this rate, I'm going to have an Uber disadvantage because I'm not been building. And we lose the scout. Okay, so we've lost both our scouts. One of them's a spawn though, it's fine. 
They both are soldiers. This, this is going to be fine to hold, so we just need to build either. Which... We don't seem to be doing. And they're trying to get him for free again. Which, you know, fair enough for them if they can do it, but... Not building particularly well here, so they're going to have it before us. And I'm, I am calling that to the team. I am always aware if we're building or not. However, you got to take into account, really, does the enemy medic know that you're not building? If you're... I think the safest thing is to just assume that they are, but some people are just notoriously bad. Some teams are really bad at building Ubers. So if you've played against a team, you can see if they've got bad habits and stuff, but on the safe side, I've just, I would just say that you just just assume that they're building Uber at the same percentage as you if you're equal. So right now, they probably have it right now, but because they think that we are, there we go, they're called now. Because they think we've been building properly, they didn't push in straight away. So we managed to, managed to blag it. But that could have gone badly if they knew that we weren't building. So they're about to come for a new print. Standing in a position where I can't get sniped. They're in the lobby a little bit here. Need to remember to keep buffing the heavy. Alright, we lose the soldier. He was a little bit too aggressive there. Soldier comes in. I think he's gone riverside. He's just jumped. Yeah, as my position right here is basically um It's a good it's a really nice position. If if you know they're not gonna push in um if you know they're not gonna push in uh lobby, it's really nice. And especially because you can basically you can see them when they come in on uh, on riverside and you can you can really milk the uber for quite a bit so right there they've got quite they've ubered quite a lot before us and I'm just about to pop on here here and okay that's quite unlucky he got bl <laughs> he got blown off the point we probably should have ubered, uh, probably should have gone for the point a little bit sooner but um really that looked like we were going to defend it <laughs> but Hugh just got blown off the point so that's really gay Never mind. But really, nothing really wrong with the positioning there. Um, probably should have just Ubered earlier. But I didn't realise that he was just going to get blown straight off that point. Never mind. So, not having, not really our day really with middles, so we're going for a sniper play in mid. Which is. You wanna really, only really want to go for if you've got a decent sniper that can, knows he's going to hit the shots. So we're playing around the sniper a bit in Valley here. Just waiting for see which way they are, see if our sniper gets a pick, which I think he gets a soldier. Oh, he has a soldier. Right, we need we're playing quite passive now, we need to probably take a side before they get positions here. Here I'm never headshots, we hit no they're weak on the left. There we go, there's our pick. And we got another we got a demo pick too, so we're definitely going in now and I have Uber. And the med's not healing too, which is brilliant. I just choose to be over here, I can't be asked. I'm trying to milk with a scout around. And the med gets out. Um, so that does mean that they're going to have Uber, but. Um, yeah, there we go, there's the Uber called now. So we've got a pretty much a full disadvantage. But we have a sniper, so we need to hold passive right now. So we're going to hold pretty much by our choke. I, I hope all my players have left me, even though I'm calling it. And you can see me being angry here, calling. Whatever. Making sure we have eyes on the drop down. Um, okay, they've Ubered in, drop down. I really... <laughs> okay. It's funny I say, making a sure you have eyes on drop down, but then um, the call wasn't made early enough, so I was kind of caught holding my dick. I'm quite reliant, hold, uh, quite... Oh, words, come on. Um, I'm quite <coughs> dependent on my team calling that drop down, because if they don't call it quickly enough, then that happens, basically. And... I need to be running out much earlier then, but never mind. So they're going to take probably take this unless we can have some individual DM play. Alright, we tried for a back cap, didn't work. But we seem to be getting like an alright amount of picks. Huey's just hitting pipes all the time. It's pretty funny. I think what's the bot is we've got a soldier now. I've got forward, so I can actually help them out. Or we lose one of our soldiers. I think Huey's still in. Yeah, there we go. So he's getting out. Not too sure if the med went down. I didn't catch it. Um, just one second. Yeah, sorry, I know about the background noise. It's annoying. And I've got no play what the viewers are watching. It's fine. I'm speaking to the VOD viewers. It's fine. I don't care about actual people. 
Let me turn the volume just up a little bit. To hide the background noise, because it is quite annoying. Oh god, that's really loud. <laughs> okay. It's a professionally produced VOD. Um, okay. So, really, taking a defensive position. Um, wow, well, we get two good picks there on the f on the flank. And they kind of come behind us. So the height ground really is good, but obviously Huey in his drunken mind just jumped away from me. So I want to go for a cap here. So we're rushing him. He's jumping in, and we should be able to cap this point, locking down choke. Pretty sure that's a fake call. Seeing as we really have equals, because we both died at the same time, really. Now we got Uber, and we pick a soldier. We trade a soldier for a scout. So we come in. In we go. We exchange Ubers. They actually have to multi a little bit. And I have to drop in here to save you. So our soldier's quite deep in. Nice, so we get a soldier pick. And we're just playing the choke right now. Oh, it's really annoying. The Uber bugs happening. And we lose two players there. We really should be here. We need to be backing off now. Yeah, well, we've managed to pick a soldier for them. But really, what is that? We need to back them up all the way. I think Kilarius just come behind them. Killed the medic and killed a scout. And also killed. Oh, almost killed a soldier. So. That was really good by our roaming, roaming soldier today. He managed to get behind him. And our demo man. The demo man is back capping us here. Oh, wow, he dies. He almost kills me too, but he saves today. Alright, so we have a new advantage. The med went down. So we want to be blocking this. We're going up top to block. But everyone's jumping away from me, which is really annoying as medic. Because, you know, when you've got 90% Uber, it's frustrating to you. that Uber here is quite early just to make sure everyone's healthy. Flash in a couple of players to get jumps. Keep the aggression on. Nice flash and arc there to save him from the stickies. I don't know if anyone saw that. I'm pretty proud of that. Get pressure on the medic on the left. There we go. Nice pressure from the demo man. But we get back caps. I didn't even see that. So it's pretty accurate. Um, oh yeah, and I'm pretty sure they cap last as well. Oh no. No, we save it. Problem with me, I, I don't remember these games very well. This was, a couple, this was on Thursday or fr uh, Wednesday or something. So, we have an Uber advantage. Actually, I'm not sure if we do or not. I can't remember. I'm going to say that we've got equals. So, and the med gets a sick arrow on one of our scouts. And I get headshots. Okay. So, the problem with that on Gully is it tends to be that you can avoid getting snipes like that um, if you just... I mean, I made a mistake of assuming that they had two scouts. So I was in a really dangerous position to be stood on, especially when you're capping like that, because you can just get forwards and just get the easy pick on you. Um, I should have expected it, and it was my fault. I should have been standing. I should have expected and been standing in a position where you couldn't shoot me. Oh, morning, morning, everyone. Um, yeah, how was the background noise on the microphone, by the way? Is it really horrible? Like, is it destroying your ears, or is it manageable? You're gonna work with me here, chat. I'm relying on you. I have one viewer. That's okay. Okay, so no one's no one's talking to me, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, so them had survived with Eva, and now we're all about to get raped. There we go. Oh, I didn't actually have Eva yet. That's interesting. So Kilari is going for the sick pick. See if he gets it. And he misses. And there you go, so that's the correct meg positioning right there. And the demo one's locking some forwards, so. They're pretty much going to cap seconds. There's nothing we, we can really do about it. So I'm making the calls hard last. We need to really just be buffing players. Well, actually, we have enough time to build. If we delay second just a little bit. We've just lost our Roma. We're calling for our players to, you know, switch to heavy pyro or whatever to delay them. There's a the heavy. Needs to be building. And because I got snipes like that, 
Um, I am expecting a sniper to be there, so a little bit dangerous there. Uh, Huey's doing his forward hold thing. Nice deny by a heavy there. Stupid of me. I should. That's a mistake by me. I should not have been stood there. I mean, yeah, I expected a sniper, but um, I could have stood a little bit further back, and I probably wouldn't have died there, and I might have got Uber in time. But there's already a scout on the point. They're going to count this. Unless Kalari does something, but I'm pretty sure he's not. So there we go. So again, that's three rounds to them, and uh, that's pretty much three mids that we haven't really done very well on. So hopefully this mids, we can try... I can't remember what we do. I think we do... Some sort of tactic? I, I'm sorry, I can't remember. But let's have a look and see what we do. Okay, we're going left this time, that's fine. Get the heals on Huey and the scouts. Like, our scouts tend to stick around me quite a bit on mid fights. Alright, not a good mid so far. But we are getting picks. We've got a soldier pick and a scout pick. So we go back in, that's fine. Soldier's really close, might give us a get pick on him. And we lose, well, we lose both our scouts now. We need to be heading back all the way. I don't know why we're standing here. We need to be going up top, we've just lost our flank. This is crazy. Oh, I don't know if I could go back in time. <laughs> time has been added. Um. Yeah, I really don't know why we're doing this. Um. I go, oh wait, well they didn't push that aggressive, so fair enough. We got our scouts right now. It doesn't matter. Got Uber. Hold and choke. Now remember what they did last time? They pushed our flank. We are mindful of that. I had to save Huey. Now their medic didn't do the same thing, and they dropped their demo. So this is brilliant. I'm calling to our scouts to make a push on the flank, and as soon as the Uber goes out, uh, we're going to push. Get a soldier pick here. Um, we lose a soldier, but we get we trade off pretty well, we still got a demo. Medic is underneath, he is completely useless now, and he goes down to a scout. I think someone's calling that we're no, there we go. So, there's just a scout trying to, trying to contest the cap we have, but he's not going to do anything. So, I need to remember the sniper. There we go. So I'm sitting in an anti-sniper position now, and there's no sniper anyway, so... Just wait for our soldiers to get here, and we have a full over advantage. We have a big, like, 30% advantage as soon as that med spawns. Although we haven't been building particularly well right now. Just need to keep, make sure to keep the line drop down. We are holding quite aggressive, because we want to push as soon as we get this. So, building with the scout. Just make sure I buff the players now. We're going to push big doors. We've got Uber right now, we need to push. Let's go. We're going lobby. Get an Uber on the soldier in lobby. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I remember this. I, I actually watched, um, I watched he was VOD back and there was a sniper hiding in spawn and he was annoyed I didn't flash him, but I didn't see him and it wasn't called until he died. So I didn't know. Whatever, we get really good aggression on them in lobby and just completely lock them off. So now we're getting on the point. And I am not standing too committed. I, I know the meds is alive and a Viva, so we need to be mindful of, them, of a push. So I'm calling to our players uh, to just hold a little bit back up top, and I'm terrible. I just fall down. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, we get a scout pick. We trade a soldier for a scout. Um, and we've lost a scout and a soldier as well. So we've got not very many players. So right now, um, we're going to hold big doors, and this is where we get one of our first back caps. And this, is, we'll be in, this will be interesting for people watching, like, uh, wow, how do, we, how, do we, uh, how do we push with a new disadvantage and still manage to, like, how do we do that? How, what do we do if we've got three players down on Gully Wash? And this is what you do. Basically, they're all at top, the call has been made. We're going to last because there's no one there. And they never, a lot of teams, like, a lot of, I mean, you would expect this team to probably check uh, big doors. For some reason, they left absolutely no one on last. Or they were waiting for a spawner to watch last, and they were just playing really aggressive. So we took the opportunity and just slipped in and capped it in a, s a couple of seconds. And this is not the first time this happens in this game. We do it quite a bit. We just take advantage of the fact that they seem to have quite... They don't, they don't check every entrance when they push out. So... Um, to answer your question, Maddie, Huey, um, 
he's not really aggressive like he is at this point. Like, he was, yes, he was quite drunk. Well, he wasn't really drunk, but he definitely was drunk. And I think that made him just just walk forward about any teammate for a back cap there. But, um, whatever. Uh, it's fine. Usually he plays a little bit more smarter, but it seems to be working. So, now we've got a little bit of momentum of a cap. Our spirits are high. We have a cap. And now we're going into this next mid, and I'm pretty sure I call the Ball's Deep Tactic again. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Oh no, we're going left again. <coughs> Walk up left. Huey's low. He gets the call. Just heal Huey a bit. Now he's in. Look at my scout's health. So he jumps me. I surf around. Oh god, that's annoying. Okay. So I did a really good surf there to get out of the way. And I thought that our players would kill the soldier, so I foolishly surfed in a circle around. I should have just gone on the fucking point, but I um, thought that the soldier would be dead. Didn't die. Uh, so, surfed right into him. And the scout killed me. So, that was really bad. I should have just surfed on top of the point or surfed away because we were probably going to lose that. Now we lost everyone. So, pretty much a wipe. In fact, it definitely was a wipe. For some reason, one of our soldiers has gone spy. Why not? Fuck it. Who knows? Usually it's the scout that goes spy, but fuck it. Um, we didn't get a medic. We're not going to be able to block second, so we're really counting on Kilari to get a meds backstab here, and I think he does. I'm pretty sure. Nope, he gets killed. We have some stickies. So now we've got a full disadvantage, and I'm calling to my team. There's no point building, because there isn't. There's no way we're going to get this in time, so just buff him. Buff him, buff him, buff him. And I'm making a call to the heavy that I'm going to drop onto the point when I uber him. And because it's a lot easier to defend when I do that. So here they come. I'm calling to the heavy to drop in. He ignores me, uh, annoyingly. So I'm underneath a few. But I think we might just hold this. I'm calling again. He's in his own little zone. But never mind. We delayed him long enough for me to get Uber. So I Uber on the point. And we have a scout there nicely. So we flash. And there's a scout underneath. Which I nicely flash to make sure he doesn't get damaged. Okay, there we go. We cleaned him up. That was pretty good. Very lucky. Well, it was quite lucky that I got Uber in time. But then that's why I hold underneath because you can do things like that. So yeah, not Sambi had everything, but yeah, pretty much saved the point. Carry this team secretly. They just don't know it. We need to be watching big doors now. And yeah, they really all are big doors. Probably get a soldier pick here if we had a demo. I think they want to push really aggressive here, so whatever I buff up our players, Huey wants to jump in. But demo's so close. And we think we just run a soldier in. There we go, soldier just runs through and gets the scout pick. And we're getting loads of they go behind him and get a really good flank on him. Excellent work. And the soldier jumps me and I probably die. Oh, but I surf away. Okay, that's lucky. We've got Uber, we need to cut the point. I think Kiwi's already on the second. Oh, he's forward spawn. That was a uh, spawn cap, and that was really nice. And we get demo man pick there, and a scout, and a soldier as well. That's really good. But this is a little bit too aggressive, Huey. God damn. Yeah, we need to be mindful of this. Going up top now. And we have full uber advantage. Um, we should probably be waiting for our players, but we decided to just go anyway. Probably not the best idea. Whatever, Huey was confident they would hit every pipe. And I think this heavy could go down and I should kill him. But no, not a particularly good push. We rushed it. Uh, partly because Huey was saying, push, push, push. So, we pushed. Probably should have just waited. And he gets out. I don't believe the fact that he got out there. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, he wasn't actually streaming this. Because he was so drunk. So, yeah, I think it's been quite interesting to watch. And he gets another pick. He plays so much better when he's drunk, it's really funny. Um, so now we're hiding for another, we're hiding in big doors. Pretty much for a back cap play again. Well, it will be anyway. Or are we just holding top? Okay. We're just holding top. I wish I had STV. I mean, this would be so much easier. But never mind, I'm just going to call it from what I see. So Huey is half asleep and gets killed. Uh, he didn't back off, but they're all really aggressive on us, and the dead man comes behind us and kills us. 
stupid mistake, really. Like, we could have expected. We didn't have anyone in the lobby. We could. We should have known that they were going to come behind us. So, it was our own fault. But somehow, we managed to get a medic pick with the sniper who hits him. Okay, fair enough. That probably shouldn't have happened. <laughs> but um, whatever. I've just seen the med die, so I go crits. And we're going to have a m quite a sizable crits advantage here. And we get two picks there. So I just on me. And he gets destroyed. Or will he get destroyed? Okay, he just got sat down with a big air shot from down there. But we have the advantage still. I don't want to back up. And again, I failed the jump. Coming in now. Really probably should be backing out a little bit more. I mean, we're going to get crits, there's no need to be staying in. And Ark just immediately dies to stickies. Got to aggressive. I'm going to lose a scout. He's back off here. We have crits right now. I think he just wants to use it. So I crits him. And they go behind us. Oh, this is one of the, this Actually, I'm completely wrong. This is when, wasn't when he was drunk at all. I'm sorry, viewers. No, this is Huey. This is actually streamed on. He was actually streamed this from his point of view. So, if you're watching this and you're like, oh, well, Huey's playing really well, just probably go watch his VOD. Um, I'm not sure if he's actually saved it. But, um, this was. We played this game on, I'm pretty sure it was Wednesday or Tuesday. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's in, it's in his VOD. So, you should watch it if you want to watch Huey's uh, thing. I just thought I'd record it from my point of view because we did draw against him. Oh, I spoiled it, never mind. But we, we, we draw against him. I think we draw against him. We must get round really quickly because we haven't got out of the rounds now. Well, there's a couple of minutes left, you know, there's still time. I think we get another back cap. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. I remember now. Right. <laughs> right, so we get the Eva. And they're pushing. And Huey just goes, just runs forwards. We're back cap. And we just go. Um, they're all concentrating on us, and we're going to get it too. I do a pretty good flash here. It's pretty good. The soldier, flash him, save him. Whatever. It's all in the game, man. Nice cap there. So it's 3 3 2. And I think we get a lightning quick round, because it's pretty sure it's. We win. Well, we we draw against them. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the anal and the anal yeah, the analysis of this demo review has really kind of gone out the window. But um, I'll keep going as best I can. I'm kind of just watching it myself. I need to keep the analysis up. So, last mids um, didn't really work out so great. We had a sniper, but we're gonna try again. So we're playing passive around the sniper, making sure I buff uh, the soldiers. Probably should have buffed the soldier a little bit more there. Going up left now to meet Huey. Who is died. Okay. Alright, so I think this is where GF18 gets a million kills. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we actually wiped them on mids. But it was really lucky. We could that could have gone either way. I think I should have probably buffed the soldiers a little bit more and moved up to meet Huey quicker because I didn't know he was on the left. I thought he'd be chilling with us, but he was up there. So right now, meds spawned at the same time as me. We've got equals. Soldiers are going quite aggressive. Uh, it's not too important. We just need to get to mid quick to help our sniper. Um, I'm locked down the choke points. And we know the time is running short of it, so we do make an aggressive play now. Solu is behind us, and I'm calling that. And he managed to pick a soldier there, which is fine, I guess. And they're all coming behind us, so we're just going to go back up. And Ark, this is where Ark uh, does something sick. I think he recorded this too. So, me and Ark are going for the back cap, and really, we shouldn't win this, but Ark sits down that dome and have a nice air shot and kills him. But you miss the air shot, but it's, he recorded it, and he c c kills the scout too. And then me and Ark decide to go to last because we kill so, ma so many with the sniper. So we go through main. Aibra relatively early. Again. 
Ah, uh, let Huey die to a sniper, that's bad of me. And now it kills everyone. There we go, and that's the end of the demo. Um, if I could summarize, I think um, we fuck we were fucking lucky. Like, holy shit! There's so many things that happen there that we just oh, we just got six frags, so we can move in. I don't really think we played particularly well. Well, we played alright, but we definitely didn't play solidly and neither did they, it was very sloppy from both teams. Um, I can tell you that the comms in that game were quite messy as well. Um, definitely need to be working on sorting the comms out. Uh, there was loads of things like people overextending, like my, my positioning was quite bad a couple of times, like I don't agree with some of my decisions at all. Uh, <coughs> things that went well though, we did hold last pretty well and uh, we did, you know, we took our advantages as we saw them. Um, we managed to make a few plays happen, but uh, I think if Dan's team were a little bit, were a little bit more practiced, we'd just get 5 0 there, because we weren't playing particularly well. Our mids weren't very particularly strong at all. We were only just winning mids very luckily. Let me read this chat. A lot of contradictions. Um, yeah, that's probably because I'm half asleep. But um, what I'm trying to say is, um, yeah, he he was actually not drunk in that uh, review at all. So I'm sorry for even saying that. Um, that was a different one. Because uh, we've been playing the same teams for the past week, so all the demos kind of meld into one. Um, eh, it was alright. <coughs> I've I've definitely don't think I played particularly solidly. I probably could have done a lot of things differently. Um, but we, we we drew. So, you know, that's something. We did something, right? What do you think, my one viewer? <laughs>